Welcome back to day three of photo organizing in 2023, our mini boot camp. Today's lesson is on the types of photos that we take. This is an important topic because each of these types are gonna be managed a little differently, I think. So the first type of picture that we see people taking obviously are all the family moments and memories. I mean, this can range from birthday celebrations to sports events to walks out in the woods and so much more. There's so many family memories and you know that's the first type of picture, the most important I would say. Then the next type of pictures that I think people take could be related to work or volunteer or other topics that are really not related to the family. Over the years I've gone to scrapbooking events and I've taken pictures of my scrapbooking friends. I really don't consider those part of my family memories and they're actually in a separate folder. In the pictures here, I've got photos from the Wisconsin Senior Olympics. I have been um, a volunteer, a board member with them for many years and I've loved taking pictures of the athletes celebrating their achievements. I have these photos in another folder. What pictures do you have that don't fall into the family family memories. I'd be curious to know, so leave it in the comments. The third type of photo that people take is for information. People take a lot of pictures for information. It could be in the store, they're snapping pictures of products they want to buy or the food that they're eating, maybe. I don't know if that really counts as a family picture or a photo for information, not sure there but you're taking pictures of things that are really just for reference. You know, people take pictures for ideas and decorating, for clothes. They take screenshots with their phones, you know, things they're looking at on the internet. So these photos for information definitely don't want those in the family photos. So we're gonna wanna have those be set aside somehow. I even have a photo there of my dashboard so that I can figure out what buttons to push when the oil change guys don't reset my change oil light. Takeaways for today, all right? Think about what photos that you need to take, all right? Make some categories here like I have. And then think about where it would be most useful to have them. Is it on the computer? Is it on your phone? Is it on a computer at work? You know, write that down. And then I want you to remember to clean out, delete the photos that you don't need. I mean, the picture that I took of the caulk, my, I bought it, I got the right caulk, so I should have deleted that photo, but I haven't yet. <laughs> All right, that is it for today's lesson. So jot some notes down in your guide and then leave a comment if you have any questions. Again, I'm looking for 50 people to interview about your photo organizing challenges. You can see a link below for a, a, a calendar to schedule a time with me. That's it for today. We will see you tomorrow.